Good morning. For the next step, I am so glad you come and join the worship. Last week we learned about how God cares about what's on the inside, and God created us in good and peace. But as soon as sin entered our life, we lost all. Even if we were against God and sinned, and He still wants us to come back to Him and to be with us. To love us, so all God's plan is not only punish and correct us, and through all that, to love us and save us. Amen. Have you ever into the worst situation? I had this memory. I went to my friend's birthday party a long time ago, like your age, and two of my friends, other friends, at this party got into the fight. Oh, <gasps> suddenly. Everyone was shocked, and atmosphere and mood in the room was so negative. No one could have a good time. It totally ruined the party. Now, my experience of last week, we had a picnic, right, in Central Park, and this is a total opposite of God's heart for us. And because of God created us to live in peace and love and joy, and last week we meet the brother Cain and Abel. It was scary, so bad situation, right? But even if Cain made a wrong choice, the family was broken. And God gave them the king's life to be peace and the protection. God did not create us to be fights with other people or to go to the war and to be involved with violence and struggle. Because when we are focused on those things, our focus is taken away from God and from love, from caring for one another. And God created us to live in peace. Repeat after me. God created us to live in peace. Because when there is a peace, we can grow and we can learn. We can be creative. Today, we're going to see how things started out peaceful, but then luck took a very, 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 really bad turn when. God created everything and put the first people in the Garden of Eden. There was a peace. There was perfect. When God created everything and put the first people of in the Garden of Eden, and there was a peace. There was a perfect relationship between God, people, and creation. But when sin entered the scene, God's perfect peace was suddenly broken. And there was a barrier between God and people, but God still wanted to love us and have peace for us. In fact, there is a word that many people use from the Old Testament: Shalom. Do you have you heard about this word? Shalom. It means full of the peace, complete or whole. God wants to us to live in shalom. Shalom is not only think about the calm, peaceful. It is also whole. Nothing missing, anything. No brokenness. So please keep that in mind, and let's all rise up. Praise God with our whole heart.
turn to the chapter Genesis. Chapter 5, verse 1 through 2, page number 4. Chapter 5, verse 1 through 2. Are you guys ready? Let's read together. This is the family history of Adam. When God created human beings, He made them in God's likeness. He created them male and female. And on that day, He blessed them and named them a human being. God's people said, Amen. God created us like who? Do you remember? Yes, in God's likeness. And He put His character and image and we look alike God. And did not stop, just created us. He wanted to bless us. He wanted to give everything that he had. He wanted to leave with it. However, however, when human was focused themselves, their wisdom and their greed, they ruined the peace and broken the whole good relationship between God and us. In chapter 5, talked about the family of Seth. Third son of Adam and Eve, even God protected Cain in his mercy. They did not stop from killing other people and they kept violence. However, Seth's family started to worship God and they became a people of peace. And when we go through the chapter 5, people lived out long enough and they were walking with God. Even Enoch, not the pastor Enoch, Enoch walked faithfully with God. That means that he loved God and was really, really close to him. Now, what's special about the Enoch is that he did not die. Instead, he just disappeared because God took him to spare him from the death. Enoch has son, a guy named Methuselah. He lived to be 969 years old. What? 969? Almost 1,000 years old. Yes, he was the longest living person ever. Methuselah had a son named Lamech. He is a father of Noah. Now, remember, this was just Seth's family line. Of course, there were other families growing on the earth to like kings. But what was the difference? Seth's family was worship God and Cain's family was growing bigger, more violence and wicked. Let's turn to the Bible, Genesis chapter 6, verse 5 through 6, page number 5. So whenever you're ready, let's read together. The Lord saw the man human beings on the earth were very wicked. He also saw that their thoughts were only about evil all the time. The Lord was sorry he had made human beings on earth. His heart was filled with the pain. God's people say, Amen. How sad it is. He was blessed. God was blessed. Now people were very wicked. His heart was filled with the pain. Everyone had gotten so sinful, so violent, and so wicked that God's heart was filled with pain. But there was one guy on earth that wasn't sinful and wicked or violent. And that was who? Me? You? No, Noah. Sometime after Cain and Abel, things went on normally. People began to have children, and their children had children, and their children had children. So they ended up being more and more people. Soon, there were people everywhere. Do you have a brother or sister? Or maybe a friend that you argue with from time to time? Imagine that happening all of the time. People were always fighting. There were a lot of bad people on the earth, and there was arguing and fighting all the time. God saw that human evil was out of control. People thought evil, imagined evil, evil from morning till night. 
God was sorry that he made the human race in the first place. It broke his heart. God said, I'll get rid of my ruined creation, make a clean sweep. People, animals, snakes, and bugs, birds, the works. I'm sorry I made any of them. But Noah was different. God liked what he saw in Noah. This is the story of Noah. Noah was a good man, and he and his family obeyed God. Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Jepheth, and each of them had a wife. One night, while Noah slept, he wakes up to a voice calling his name, Noah. Noah goes out front to see who's calling him. He looks left. No one. He looks right. There's no one there either. Who could be calling him? Noah was a good man. He was the most innocent man of his time. And he walked with God. Noah was, Noah was without blame among the people. He wasn't wicked or violent. He did not get in and fight. He was close to God. He was a man of peace. God did not want to stop love us to save us. He gave the special job to Noah to do. We all know, right? Yes, build the ark. He had a peace that God gave him. He know what God wanted. So he listened to God's word. First and next step, do you remember the story that I told you beginning of the worship? Two of my friends to fight at the party and to ruin the party. When we lost the peace, did what we want, it can ruin all the mood and the relationship. God gave us the whole not broken pieces. Jesus gave us a peace that not just thinking safe and a protection and having enough everything. God, Jesus gave us the peace that word cannot give. That peace, it's not just about the moment, it's for eternal peace. When people were worshiping and walking with God, there was a peace, not just brokenness. When they were focused on God, they got all the blessings. What blessings? To get, have a long life? No, being with God, they could see how God lived with us. However, we lost focus on God, focus on me, and they will lose the peace, the whole, the perfect whole thing that God gave us. We might say more, more, more of me than our life will be less Jesus, less Jesus, and less Jesus. God created us in shalom. God gave us in shalom. Even if we broke his blessing and pieces, he gave us peace, shalom through Jesus that no one cannot give us. I do not know what situation you are facing every day, but do not lose God. Do not focus on you. Focus on God, what God wants to you and me. What God gives you. This is hard. Even me, like adult, it's hard, but I could not focus when I have anger and bitterness like Cain. Even if you could not focus Jesus like me, why don't we ask help? He's the one who created us in peace and wanted to save and bring us in peace through power of the blood of Jesus Christ. So please focus on God rather than me and enjoy your shalom. Amen? Amen. Put your hands together. Close your eyes. We're going to pray together. Let's pray together. God, in our life, there are times when we are angry. There are times when we do not understand. There are times when we are so sad. There are many times when we do not enjoy, live out in the peace that you has given us. God, let us know that you are with us every moment and let us know the peace that word cannot give from Jesus. Lord, thank you for keeping and loving us and cares us in your mercy. Thank you. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Let's do Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, we pray that your name will always be kept holy. We pray that your kingdom will come. We pray that what you want will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the food we need for each day. Forgive the sins we have done just as we have forgiven those who did wrong to us. And do not cause us to be tested, but save us from the evil one. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours forever. Amen.